What is water absorption? Water absorption, also known as water hydration or water absorption capacity, is the amount of water taken up by flour to achieve the desired consistency and create a quality end product. It is the optimal amount of water you can add to a dough before it becomes too sticky to process. It is usually defined by flour weight. For example, 60% water absorption means 60 pounds of water is used to hydrate 100 pounds of flour. How does water absorption work? When flour and water are mixed together, water molecules hydrate the gluten-forming proteins gliadin and glutenin, as well as damaged starch and the other ingredients. The hydration process is achieved when protein and starch molecules create hydrogen bonds and hydrophilic interactions with the water molecules. Particles hydrate by rubbing against each other and contacting water. Process parameters such as type of mixer, beating arm, water flow, and pressure remove the hydrated surface layer and expose a new layer of the particle to the excess water so the water diffusion process can continue. How does water absorption affect baked goods? Water absorption influences the following parameters of baking in bread. Loaf volume. Fracture stress of bread crumb. Bread yield. Machinability. Proofing. Final products attributes. Shelf life. How to measure water absorption. A farinograph is usually used and can provide an approximate value for water absorption. The test is based first on the determination of the optimal amount of water to achieve a consistent Brabender unit value or BU. The amount of water required to produce this consistency is the water absorption of a flower. The analysis of the typical farinograph curve yields important quality parameters such as Arrival time to first achieve 500 BU Optimum mix time, also called dough development time Departure time Mixing tolerance index, MTI Dough stability Application Similar to other rheological tests, water absorption is often used by millers and bakers to determine the incoming flour quality and its usage. Influencing factors of flour water absorption. Moisture content, the lower the moisture content, the higher the water absorption. Starch, the higher the starch damage, the greater is flour water absorption. Proteins, the higher protein content, the higher water absorption. Pentasans, the higher the pentasans content, the higher the water absorption. Vital wheat gluten, when added to the formula, it will increase the water absorption and impart greater stability to the dough. Enzymatic activity, sprouting or high amylase content decreases water absorption capacity. Under and overabsorption in bakery products. Different bakery products require different water absorption or hydration levels. Each level is unique for each kind of baked good to achieve the desired dough consistency and finished product characteristics. The following are common problems that can occur during mixing. Both under and overabsorption lead to quality issues in the dough and finished product. Here are some symptoms of underabsorption. Dough will be stiff and dry. Not have enough water to hydrate and disperse dry ingredients not allow for final development proof slower have an inadequate pan flow and the finished product will have a low volume have a dense and firm internal structure or crumb stale more quickly have white corner edges here are some symptoms of overabsorption dough will be wet and sticky have an extended cleanup time be prone to over-fermentation. Have a diminished tolerance to handling, i.e., poor machinability. And the finished product will have poor symmetry. Have a large volume. Have an open crumb grain with large cells. Be prone to mold. Want to learn more about water absorption and how it affects different flowers? Visit Bakerpedia. Learn more about all things baking by signing up for our newsletter. Until next time, bakers. At Bakerpedia, we're here on a need-to-know basis.